first thing you want to do before you mess with any of this stuff. There's a little disclaimer there for you. This video is for informational purposes only. Consult your local professional. Okay, so this was wet on the bottom and I forgot to bring a drain hose, so I had to... <clears throat> that thing was heavier than hell. I had to bring that out there. See the floor is wet. Telltale sign of a leaky water heater. And of course, and this is weird, I, I've never seen this before. There's only two wires. There's only two wires on that. Only two wires, but it's 220. I don't know why this, I did not want to drain out that part. I tipped it and it's siphoning out that one. And open the tap so it can drain at the low point. And definitely want to shut the breaker off first thing. Okay, what a mess. I'm actually going to probably paint and trim this area here. Um, but I'm just uh, putting it up to see what I need. And this one is actually not too much taller than the old one. Um, and so I think what I need is a couple of more extensions here. If I get like a four, ex four inch extension. And then of course the pressure relief valve. Um, I have to get something for that. It's coming out the front. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be able to spin or not. Uh, and so let's see this this three quarter inch pipe here and it's a three quarter inch pressure relief valve so I'm going to need like a PVC and uh, possibly get some right angles or whatever to go down into that but that's what it's looking like and it looks like uh, it's going to be a tight squeeze here. I think we can do it. I think we can do that. So the electrical's good. We just need a couple of extra plumbing fittings. Okay, so we got the water on. This is basically your bleeder and your uh, pressure relief. Sometimes they're down here on the bottom uh, or on the side, excuse me. Now uh, this one's in the center. You basically have to bleed the tank so you fill the water in. You let the pressure out here, otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of pressure coming out of that on and off. So once it's filled up, you shut this off before it drips down. And you got your, I actually used the old connections. And I got the word from the man that uh, you always wanna double, goop these seals. I put Teflon tape and the rector seal pipe thread fittings and if we take a close look we got full pressure on it right now. We don't see any leaks. None. But the test will be of course when we hook up the power and uh, and get it up to heat range. That one I guess it's okay. No I don't like it. It's all on. Okay, let's take a look and see. It's actually been on. Oh, we got some shrooms coming up. It's been on for about a half hour. I can feel it's starting to warm up. Yeah, no leaks. And got a little border on there. And this one's done. So that's your water heater installed. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. Mr. Maintain at Hotmail. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in how to make money as a handyman, contact me as well. And I'll tell you about the handyman training course.